Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign playing as that special thumbnail flag icon, New Victoria, under Queen Victoria VI, which actually gives you some bonuses to constructing stuff. But, let's see, custom game rules, everything's pretty much default, I've changed absolutely nothing, and it's all pretty much just generic stuff. Let us begin with New Victoria in a land that is currently freezing. So, New Victoria. Now... There's two reasons why I chose New Victoria. First of all, someone requested that I play a New Victoria. That's probably the most important reason. Most important reason. Second reason why I chose to play as New Victoria is because not too many other people seem to have played as New Victoria. Now, uh, the mods I'm using obviously are Old World Blues. Player of the Peace Conferences, hopefully State Transfer Tool Mod. There's an Old World Blues mod compilation at the time of this recording as well that I'm using. Uh, there's the State Transfer Tool. Colored buttons, colored events, that type of thing. I am not using another mod called Sweet Home California. I am not using that. The NCR is here. Kaisar's Legion is here. Just because I didn't want any sort of issues popping up, we'll say. So, uh, New Victoria. We start off with four divisions. And Victoria's Finest, Charlotte's Levy, Royal Port Guard, and Albany Levy. We're going to be led by some very royal looking people. Hmm. Sir Kevin Norrington. Hmm. Duke Dinan Powlett. Well, with what I'm going to do with New Victoria, this is going to be a little different campaign for me, just because we're on an island. We're on a flipping island, Vancouver Island, and uh, we're going to have to navally invade people, so we're going to go with General Ed Takut. Tykout. Cool. He's an invader, which I love. So let's grab some technologies. Uh, the normal, normal stuff. Now, the New Victoria is special. If you never played as them, we start off with almost full radar capabilities. That's actually really cool. Uh, you even have all this stuff done too, but, you know, New Victoria, they're on an island, you think they have a big navy, they got 12, they got 10 ships, not even 12 ships, they got 10 ships, led by, ooh, Admiral, Grand Admiral Coleman Red. oh my goodness, yes, 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 but, we only have 10 ships, but more importantly, regarding technology, they don't have a single ship unlocked, this doesn't make any sense. But that's okay, sometimes things are like that. But let's get seafaring so we can do naval invasions to take out our first group. Now, let me see. We're going to grab the Trident to Trust Industry Planning, some Construction Basics, Tool Procurement. Sure, why not? And let's do our first focus, First Contact. The first contact with groups outside of the island was a defining moment in Victorian history. And let's see, what do we have here? We have guns, but really we have level 2 melee weaponry already here. We've got nothing else. Literally nothing else we can use. Ship stuff. Nah. Nah. Schooner holes. I never remember the naval t stuff here. So schooner holes are better than longboats. Schooners over longboats. Schooners over longboats. No thank you. So we're going to make some triremes and we're going to make some schooner holes. Good. Good. And we're going to put both of you in a roche. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. If we want to do that, do that. we got two over there. And before we forget... We have a navy here. Go ahead and train. Because we want to use a lot of naval XP because we have to be the dominant force. At least navally for a while. So, uh, no divisions in basic training. I'm not going to do any divisions yet in basic training. Our current normal division is 14 combat width with nothing else on them, which is interesting. Now, why am I not training in any divisions? Is because we need a lot of guns for what we're about to do. Oh, look at this. Or that. Cool. Uh, all we are making is infantry equipment, which is fine with me. Let us begin. It is January 1st, 2275. And we have about 2,000 manpower in reserve, even though we are currently at two-year conscription. So, first contact beyond the island. Our first successful sea voyage has returned. Ooh, look at that, Queen Victoria VI. They discovered another world and had an extremely successful diplomatic meeting with several regions. From these, we successfully recruited men to the three 2,000 manpower. It's really nice. The Heide Confederation, we have agreed to stand together against the outside world, so they, I get three provinces here. Hmm. Or the Washington Brotherhood, their technology and industry made them invaluable. We get some weaponry. Hmm. Well, we can get that stuff maybe eventually common and basic energy weapons. Well, that's all the way right here and right there, which isn't bad. We can get to that eventually. That could have put us over an edge, but you know what? Let's just take over the Heide Confederation, even though probably manpower is probably the best choice for me right now. And which means, there's a reason why I'm not trying to make any divisions, we don't get cores on them. We have to manually core, which is... Hmm, it's okay. Next steps. What should we do next? Pfft, I don't know. What should we do? Actually, I do know what we're going to do next, because... 
Because we can't... We don't have that many options to invade people. Like, that's the only way we can expand is by invasions. Naval invasions. So we got to plan where we're going to attack first. So where do we go from here? We see the outside world and we need to figure out how to respond to it. So we need to spread our way of life to the far edges of the world. That's... Militia commanders isn't bad. We need to survive two fa arms factories or workshops. That's not bad. That's pretty good. We need to achieve a level of naval dominance beyond what that... Beyond that, which has ever been witnessed. Which isn't bad either, but I'm just going to go with this because that's, good. that's you know, long game. I'm thinking long term, but how will we... Or how shall we do about this goal? If you didn't, if you don't know, the original creator of the Victoria, the new Victoria mod for Old World Blues, is no longer updating this mod. Now this is part of the mod compilation, but the original new Victoria mod at the time of this recording is no longer being worked on. So there might be a few issues here and there. So, so how will we do it? That's a question on everyone's lips. How will we do it? Everyone has a different plan, but they all agree that we need to take action. Establish effective trade routes, which, look, which looks pretty cool. We will open our island to immigration. More people, more everything, which looks pretty good. An extra 3,000 manpower now is awesome. And ships, ships, ships. I'm going to go with 3 manpower since I skipped the last one. And now we can do our focuses, which is actually pretty cool. Uh, we get to choose a decision where we go become intellectuals, elites, Victorian people. So, I want... I don't really know which path I'm going to take yet, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. So we could go with the intellectuals, and if we go with the intellectuals, we go alone, which lets us go to war with other people faster, or we can encounter the Brotherhood and become a chapter in the Brotherhood and get some T-45D power armor. We can do internal restructuring, get a research slot from them. Uh, quality over quantity, which looks pretty nice. Take the Northern Power Plant, war uh, an Agnex war goal against Broken Coast. Core some islands, or curse some places. Recede and rebuild, factories. Now, the Victorian elites, we become more friendly with the Brotherhood. The Washington Brotherhood. Uh, really party, more stability. We get war goals against people near us. Some, some factories. Uh, factories, war support, 30%. No joke. But we have the Victorian people, where we can get protection and pact with NCR the Northern Defense Coalition, or New Canaan for some reason. Northern Summit with, uh, no, trade with NCR. Uh, limited Broken Threat, we get population against Broken Coast, which is actually really good. And even more population with New Canaan, but these are all mutually exclusive. So, we could de be defending Onward for Defense, Victorian Subsidies, Arms Workshops, Civilian Workshops, and some technology that are okay. So, let me know in the comments below which path should I take, Intellectuals, Elites, or People. So, we could rebuild New Victoria, or just Victoria, but my plan early on is we could do an edict. We're going to search the old West Tech building first. There's long existed a West Tech building on our island. Let's search and scavenge it. Yes, and that's going to take 120 days, which is well, which is wow, like four months. It's like yeah, that is four months. That's a long time. Not gonna lie, that's a long time. So right now we're going to slowly watch. Oh, I don't want to forget this. As our amount of stockpile of weapons goes down, because I'm going to West End pacification because I want to core this area. Yeah, relatively quickly. So now we don't have enough infantry equipment, and that's why I'm not, you know, doing very much with my infantry equipment currently. Oh boy, we need some water. Oh boy. So this is going to get worse and worse and worse until it hits a certain point where it starts going back in the other direction where we have enough stuff. We have four divisions. That should be enough for now. So really, I've tried this before. I tried to justify against Bellingham early game. Didn't really work out. Broken Coast, I didn't try, but Whistler... Whistler is a fun nation led by Pathfinder who understands that this area is pretty flippin' freezing. Now, we have fairly good relations with them. They have no manpower. They have an okay amount of divisions. Hmm. Which way are we going to go? Are we going to attack them? Who has the most divisions here? Or should I say, who has the least? Definitely not Broken Coast. Definitely not Bellingham. Whistler is our best bet to invade someone. Who I am going to invade. So we've got Construction Basics. Tool procurement, we're going to work as needed because that's the best one. Well, it's better than work assignments, generally. Let's see, improvised tools, and woodworking. Very good. Mm, soon, I'm going to get a little bit more stability here. I like the stability. The political power is not bad either, but I like the stability quite a bit. Even though this would be great for our, for land doctrine, we can wait just a little bit first. Well, actually, the outside of the wouldn't be too bad, but you know what? Actually, one of these guys, more attack, recon, caravan guard, less damage to garrisons, which actually be pretty good. What do we have for economic advisors? The pretty generic ones. Civilian factories. Cool. I'm just going to grab this person. Just so we have a little bit more stability, and now we get 1.62 political power a day, which is pretty nice. I do want to make sure we have as much political power as fast as possible to core stuff, 
and take more decisions, of course. But right now, we have a small de deficit of 316 guns. Right now, they're 16% compliance, which is really, really good. And resistance will be capped at probably around 30-ish percent. That's not bad. So really, playing as New Victoria, you gotta wait. We really have to wait a while before we can navally invade, because we quite literally cannot until we research more of our ship stuff, which makes New Victoria a little different than most of my campaigns. Now we have to get assault canoes so that I can invade other people. Now let's see. I do want to make a division from... Eventually. Eventually. So I'm going to get this. I'm going to train one for now because I definitely need more divisions. Come over here. But put you on low. For now. And just to set stuff up for later. What we're going to do is we're going to come from... Hmm. Oh, can I even get in here? Oh, I might not be. Oh, boy. Oh, can I even get in there? I don't know. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. Let's double check. So that's a river that we want to get to. Hmm. Let's see. Ships. If I, oh, well, it looks like some of you guys are over there. What if I did this? Uh, let time go on. I want to double check this real quick. Obviously, they can do this area. But can they do that area? Yes, they can. So that me that's good. We can potentially and hopefully invade this area. Which will be good. Go ahead and do that. Because that is probably the most important. If we can invade Whistler, well, then we'll probably invade Broken Coats up in the north and try to encircle them, destroy them, you know, all that good stuff. Probably. We'll probably invade, like, right here or something. And do multiple naval invasions behind them. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get to that today. Maybe, maybe not. I really don't know. Just because New Victoria is a little challenging to play as. So we're going to go from Roche. You might be able to invade right there. You should be able to. We should be able to. Now, the reason I'm invading Whistler, like I said before, they don't have a lot of divisions. At least, right now they don't. Which is good. All we need is one port, and then we can win. There we go. So, we discovered an ancient West Tech building ruined after the Great War. Unfortunately, it contained a failsafe against intruders. We could only scavenge a bit of tech before it exploded. So, we took general robotics schematics, or general schematics at random, which we get a robotics bonus. We found some schematics to utilize parts of power armor, which is... Not bad. Found some weird liquid thing. Now, I went down this path off screen like before, and some of it works. Like, one of the decisions later on regarding this path specifically with taking some weird liquid thing is it, you get attacked by the Enclave, but nothing happens after that, at least in my experience. Maybe someone has discovered what it was, but I'm just going to go with something that's easy. Let's get some power armor. Very nice. So, next up, we want an extra research slot. Sounds pretty good. To me. So we need to open and allocate more resources to a new laboratory. Their effi eff efficacy can't be underrated. I almost said efficiency. It's not efficiency, it's efficacy. Oh, wait, hold on. Form the cat. Ooh. Form the Cascadian Republic. Oh. Gain a core on every state on Graham Island and Vancouver Island, and in the south, northeast, and northwest Columbia. This is. Ooh. Interesting. Wait, does that cover this? Northeast and Northwest Columbia. Oh, uh, double check this. Oh, it does. It does cover that. Huh. Interesting. Very cool. Very very cool. Next up, uh, honest speaker. No, I'm uh, gonna power. Just fire Wargo's times. That's not too bad. That might really be worth it to take right now. Uh, town defender. Just fire Wargo's times. Ten percent is okay. Damage to garrisons. We might consider doing, just because we're already getting hit with garrison stuff. But, I lied. We're going to do this first. Well equipped army it is. We want to have as much of that as possible. And I, I still might manually core this, maybe, just in case. Just because resistance, you know, resistance. Casually having minus 477 guns or knives, I guess, technically, isn't always good. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Good, good, good. Just got to keep an eye on how many divisions these guys have now. That's not good. The more they have, the worse we do. But we could probably tire them out and, do, and probably do okay. Actually, how many ships do they have? That's a good question to ask. We're not sure, but they probably have none. Alright, well, we'll definitely see what happens. Ooh, and we're about to get paid soon. Very nice. The so time go on to get another research slot, and then we'll probably do Queen Victoria's Edict. Hmm, Queen Victoria. Pretty good at building stuff. Iron Alliance player warrant with their dogs. Right now, we're doing much better on infantry equipment. So much better. Because we finally hit that little point where we have way more compliance. I don't know, we have local militias help patrolling the area. And less resistance. Woodworking, great. 
Just go ahead and give me local workspaces. I need as much output as possible. Construction speed. Let's grab some organized agriculture, infantry. Uh, we could probably grab this. And we could talk about land doctrine. Now, I almost always go conventional warfare. I do that too much. I'm probably not going to go down that path. And time? I am might do automated warfare. I might want robots. I'm not really sure right now. Or asymmetrical warfare. Hmm. Mass charge. Out of supply. Ancient tactics. We get less population. More breakthrough. Special forces might not be bad. More infantry, motorized breakthrough, army defense. Not bad, not bad. That seems pretty cool. The right side is wasteland knowledge, of course, which is also wasteland tactics. Can you imagine if you were navally invaded by a bunch of ro people who followed a monarchy who use ancient wasteland tactics? I think I'm gonna go down this path this time. Not conventional warfare, but asymmetric warfare. Let's, let's go. That, let's go down that path. I, don't, I usually, at least at the time of this recording, a lot of my other campaigns didn't even use that path. So let's use that path. Hmm. Actually, you know what? Let me know in the comments below. Should I use? Oh, nice. Should I go down? Ancient tactics or wasteland tactics? Let me know in the comments below as well. I'm open to either one. I'll use either one. But we have the fifth research slot already. Great. Let's grab some support equipment. That's important. Next, we could do Robco analysis. We can produce robot stuff. But we really don't have the industry, especially if I want to navally invade really, really soon. And we already have power armor unlocked. So really, the goal is for us to just produce more and more and more stuff. Ah, <sighs> queen. Eat it to the queen. Hmm. Let's see, ro robots. I might want just a full robot army eventually. Industry, recruit a marshal. It's not bad. It's okay, though. Arms workshops, division organization reconnaissance, defense, speed. Uh, let's we'll see what happens. Let's. How about we rebuild Victoria? So, Victoria was hit hard. It's time that we, we rebuild it to its prowess before the war to the best of our ability. Yes, more civilian factories. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. Next up, resistance is coming along very nicely. We discourage traders, which is fine. Let us grab. Is anyone else here that I care about? Not too much. Just if I work all the time, might be good. Hmm. Actually, how long does it take for us to justify on Whistler? 230 days. That's quite a bit of days, considering how many divisions they have. Hmm. If that's the case. Now, was it this guy? No, it might have been down here. Warmonger. I think it's worth it. I think it's very much worth it to cut it down from 230 days to... 170. That's two months less. So that's actually not too bad. So we just gotta get a little bit more political power, which is fine. 1.62 days. Pretty good amount. Pretty good amount. Great. So we'll have that underway. We Our ships are fine. They probably don't like us. It is what it is. But getting to Whistler actually isn't terrible. Other people might declare a war on us, but we get maybe a few factories from here. Oh, actually, they got some advanced materials. We get a few... A fa actually, how many factories do they have? I can't imagine them having that much. One, oh, shnikes, one and one. Well, that's okay. Having one more is better than having none more. And then we can have a literal border with other countries like the Dredgers, Camlo, Bellingham. Instead of having to navally invade places like Broken Coast, that's not good. That's not, it's not easy. And we're going to rebuild Victoria. Great, we have organized agriculture, which is awesome. We're going to get a little bit of seed selection because this place is freezing. I've never been to Vancouver. I'd like to go someday, but... Vancouver Island. Oh, Queen Charlotte. New Victoria. Hmm. Maybe we'll go someday. I do have a passport. Cool. Five. Very nice, very nice. It's September 11th. Oh. September 12th now? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And Mexico's looking pretty... Pretty Mexican. Oh, Cowboy Country is taking out the Tohono Nation. What the heck? I love that flag. Billy Clinton. Rebuild Victoria. Washington Brotherhood. Huh. Cool. Next up, we shall... I really need another factory. It's only one, but I'm going to do it anyway. So it's time we rebuild the factories that produce weaponry. People have outside have it. We need it too. And so right now, we're producing, you know, knives, basically. Slashing melee weaponry. In time, we need some serious amount of power armor. Because even though I want to use robots, power armor, that's good stuff. 
That's some really good stuff. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Pull you down just so we, we make more... Oh. There you go. Yeah. I want to make some schooner holes because it's... I want a little bit more screens than anything else right now. Because screens... I don't mind if screens get destroyed, but if capital ships get destroyed, that's no bueno. That's just no bueno. Let's see. Oh, I want, to, I want that. I kind of want to get some attack and defense just to give ourselves a little bit more of an edge against enemies but for now let's go and grab Edmund Asbuth for more land doctrine research speed and army XP in game that'd be great that would be phenomenal and you know what after we make that one factory I'm gonna make a military factory because we can it sounds like we just got paid we got 38 naval XP which is great Keep an eye on this, just so that we can plan when we need to put our Navy back from exercising and make sure that they're fully ready to go. Because I need to split them up into two uh, forces. One for this area, and then one in the river. So that'd be good. Wow, you guys are... You guys love damaging yourselves, don't you? Look at that. Ah, support equipment. Great. Eventually, we're going to need some support equipment. Probably some serious amount of doggos. Yeah. Let's grab some reinforce rate first, though. Because, very nice. Uh, Vancouver Island. How was our core population? We have a core population of... 28,000. Well, that's not bad for the islands. Really not that bad. How much would it take for me to core this now? Just so I can lower some resistance and actually get all these factories so I can actually use them? Oh, I need that military factory. Oh, but there's a military factory and two of these. But if I take this, I can build stuff just slightly faster. Let's build this first. That's good. Yeah, that's good stuff. Shouldn't take too long. In February, we'll have another factory. That's awesome. Yeah, even though we get to core this stuff eventually later on, at least let me core one area first. We always run out of things to use our political power with anyways. Specialized... Oh, actually, that's not a good... That's a, that's a good idea. Maybe do some naval warfare first, just in case we might encounter some enemy ships. I mean, I really don't want to lose the ships that we have. Rebuild arms factories. Great. A Victorian future. Dockyards of pride. That's not bad. This other stuff, I like it, but let's do Edict of the Queen, maybe, or Analysis of Old World Medicine, hmm, Robco, more research speed's always nice, ooh, water, we could really use water and electricity, that's actually not a bad idea, hmm, more population, actually, how bad is this, hey, yes. oh, that's pretty bad, that's actually pretty darn bad, let's get some more factory output, let's do Vic Survival, Vic Survival Desk. Just so we get 6% more factory output, more monthly population, a little bit less division attrition, because god dang, it must be freezing in November in this part of Canada and Alaska. Oh, boy, that does not sound good. Alright, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab that. How many days are we away? Oh, 45-ish. That's not bad. Shippies, they're doing a great job. Ripe territories at war. we got some seed selection. Uh, let's grab that basic tools anyways. we got local workspaces. We have enough. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's really nice. And we already have another di another division being made. Yes, yes, yes. Let's grab some construction speed as well. And pop out that division. Come on. Pop it out. And it's been popped out. Great. We're going to need everyone for this, this uh, little invasion here. Oh, actually, let's put them on the invasion. That would be smart to do. There you go. That's good. Let's recall our ships. You guys can stop training and go ahead and repair. All shall repair right now. Keeping warm decisions. Hmm. Oh, that does not sound good. Keeping warm? That sounds like we're going to have to have to manually make sure everyone keeps warm. Hmm. 82%. That's not bad. 82, 82. They're probably all 82. Oh, 81, whatever. That's close enough. Not bad. We're getting some more army XP, which is good because our... No, template's only 14 combat width, which is... Yeah. Happy 2276, my friends. Happy 2276. It is definitely a year. Good. How are the ships coming along? Oh, we have another light cruiser. Great. Kaiser's Legion. Very nice. Keep an eye on these guys. Whistler. Just... I need to land once. They got manpower. They've... At minimum, two divisions. At maximum, six. Which is pretty even... Even though we're the ones trying to navally invade, which is always a problem. There's no guarantee that I'm going to do well here. At all. Ah, fix survival. Awesome. So we can go to war whenever we want. Is the Navy done repairing? Yes, it is. So now I'm going to split you guys in half. 
which this is not great template that's a pretty good template for this stuff uh, how many ships do we know that they might have here all I need is a single port shippies we count zero 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 I hope my intelligence is correct should be that's a good port that's a good port as well that's a level one port ah, oh, oh whatever so are you guys ready to go no they're not naval supremacy all right my friends do some escorting over there as well as here one two fix survival great and then we shall do some the heating replace chilly temperatures with temperature mild population and more output I like that hmm I like the output I really do so look at some Vic heating then Vic heating desk cool oh what is this keeping oh no fuel for our fires temperature drops is active conserve power divert resources I lose construction speed or stability increase the temperature oh permanent heating oh Remove, move, remove it and be BCE cold idea final. Construction speed and factory. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. It's kind of chilly though here. Port Mall is joining the Northern League, which is one reason why I didn't invade them. And can our boys go? Godspeed for Queen and Country. Let's see what happens against. What's there, do we know how many? We definitely have more factories than them, but we can say that for sure. For the love of God, I hope they win. I hope they get in. hope they break through. We are at war. War propaganda. Oh, that's not bad yet. Um, see some patriotism. It's not bad. Mm. Oh, I can put up fires. Temperature... Wait, temperature drops? It's chilly. Wait, what do you mean temperature drops? More than raiders, beasts, or... Beast of ice, or even radiation cold, is a true enemy. We need to maintain our temperature at all costs, and or suffer the consequences. Oh, down there. Oh, we put enough resources into the thingy. Divert resources. We lose that. Go ahead and lose that. That's fine with me for now. Get that as well. No wonder we got so much political power. Conserve power. Oh, I'm not going to do that. No way. Fuel for the. F oh boy. Fuel for the fires. Temperature drops. Conserve. I'm not going to conserve. Power. Oh. We've landed. We have, I'm completely forgetting what's going on, and we have landed. Good. We might be able to break across here. We ha they have at least two divisions. One up there, one over here. Which is interesting. Just beat them. If you can beat them up, I would feel really good about that. Good, do that. And then take Whistler. All I want you to do is beat up the enemy. Actually, oh, they're using enforcers. Can I pierce them? Uh, this doesn't say we can. Because, oh, they have it. One, two, three divisions. They have at least three. We're getting pretty close to Whistler, which is great. Hmm. All right, we have Whistler. Now what? We got to get a Manson's Land. Oh, we're going to do some fancy footwork around here. So, so be it. We might get someone encircled. We might not. Let's grab that towel real quick first. And once this guy moves, this guy might want to move in. We're going to take this enforcer out first. Thank you. He'll come in right there to do that. Oh, hello. That's not ideal. If that's the case, you're going to come this way. We're going to encircle this division as well. Oh, there's two divisions there. Hmm. As long as we don't lose at least one port. That's the most important thing. Good. Just don't let it... That, that, let them cut us off. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, actually, I need you to move down that way then. Oh, we killed it. Great, we killed it. Um, do not let them move. You are going to come up that way. We've lost zero guys versus 125. Pretty good in my book right now. Fuel for the fires. Active for one day. Does that do anything? Conserve. You know, I want to see what happens when we take this. Which is really distracting me here. I hope we not. I guess we haven't put enough things in the, the burner, I suppose. Well, that ain't good. Go ahead and take that. Nice. Nice. We've got them encircled. Two more divisions. I could do support attacks, but I don't care. 
great. Ah, just a beautiful thing when you can beat the snot out of your enemy. And beat them, beat the lives out of your enemy, too. Cool. Good job, guys. We're going to go that way, we're going to go that way, and then hi-ho that way. Yeah, I don't like this. Temperature drops. It seems like there's nothing I can do. I guess I, can, I can't increase temperature. Huh. Well, you're learning as much as I am right now. I suppose about this, unless you know more. You might actually know, know more than me about this, because I really don't know that much about this. Uh, actually, if anything, you guys go there, to there, to there. Make that quick. I don't want to have temperature drops, man. That's not cool. How many times do I need to click on that? Nice. It's mild. Secret language. Let's do a Vic... Vic, a light in the dark. Just in case it might help us, so... We'll try that out. 60 days, you know, whatever. Keeping warm. Oh, it's kind of mild. I like it mild here. Oh, and research. Uh, reinforce rate. Good. Oh, could you join the Northern League? Alright, so be it. No one cares. Is this just a waste of political power or something? Because I don't like this. Divert. I'm not going to divert... Oh, I can divert resources. That's fine. Save munitions. Stowage. Uh, what else? That's going to take years to do. Then we can do seed selection. Sure. Oh, oh well, actually, go ahead and take that. That's fine. We're doing great. Uh, you know what? Keep them there. I want to play with them still a little bit more. Still 4,300 manpower, so I'm feeling pretty darn good about that. And they're attacking us like a bunch of nincompoops. Three days, and we're going to see what happens. Temperature drops, okay. H how do I know when we have enough resources in there? And the temperature is now chilly. God dang it, what the heck? Oh, go ahead and kill them all, though. If that's going to be a modifier that we have to deal with for the rest of the game, you know, so be it. And let us finish off this episode by taking Silver Throne. Or Silver Throne, yes. Uh... Temperature drop is active. I would like to increase the temperature. But maybe we'll discover that eventually. Basic tools. Cool. Uh, we can't do that yet. 165 days. We might... I really want to get robots eventually. Get some doggos first, though. Clay working. Great. Grab Silver Throne. We killed off pretty much all the divisions. We got Clay working. Hmm. Grab that just in case. So how many men have we lost? We lost two. Versus 444. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Pretty darn good. And they have capitulated. Great. So the next goal. We're having up this. We need to make some composite materials. Uh, you know what? Screw making civilian factories. We're going to make more of that. But that's where we're going to end our first episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. We took out Whistler. And New Victoria has an inner enclave of the Pacific Northwest. If you enjoyed this episode, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow. As we might go to war with the Dredgers, Camlo, or someone else. I don't know. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.